The Cube presents HPE Discover 2022. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Lisa Martin and Dave Vellante here bringing you day one of theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 22. We've had a lot of great conversations so far, just a few hours in. We have two of our alumni back with us, powerhouses, two powerhouses from Nutanix, two for the price of one. Mandy Dalloval joins us, the CMO of 90 Days at Nutanix. It's great to see you, congratulations on the gig. Thanks, Lisa, it's great to be here and uh, great to be at Nutanix. Isn't it? And Tarkin Maynard, the Chief Commercial Officer at Nutanix. Welcome back, Tarkin. Great to see you guys. So I, I, this is only day one of, of the, the main show, Chuck, and we've been hearing a lot about cloud as an operating model. We've heard your CEO, Rajiv, talking about it. Break that down from Nutanix's point of view. Yeah, look, at the end, um, it's a tech conference. We're talking a lot of technology, but at the end of it, it's all about outcomes. I saw Keith was here earlier, you know, Green Lake story. We were on a session earlier. Everything is about business outcomes for the customers and obviously our partner ecosystem and we see all these gobbled technologies come together and become an operating model. And our customers are moving from a CapEx model, old school model, what I call dinosaur model, into an OPEX model, subscription model, which Nutanix basically the category creator for this in a hybrid multi-cloud fashion. One platform, one experience, any app, any user, any time. And make it count. Let the customers focus on business outcomes, let us deal with the infrastructure for you. What are some of the key outcomes that you're seeing customers achieve? We've seen so much change in the last couple of years, right. a lot of acceleration. Right. Every company has to be a data company today right. to compete. What are some of the outcomes that you're really proud of? So look, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about digital transformation. And it's a big loaded word. But at the end of the day, every company is trying to get digitized. And hybrid multi-cloud is the only way to get there uh, in a cost-effective way. So that cost is a big story. Highly secure manageable, available, reliable, total cost ownership definitely depressed, and take the complexity out. Let us deal with the infrastructure for you. You focus on your time to the market and the best applications for the best users. So Mandy, I remember, you know, you talked about your category creator, Tarkin. I remember Stu Miniman and I were in the Wikibon offices. We were just getting started and mm -hmm. he said, Dave, you got to come in here. And D Raj was on the phone. They were describing this new category. And I was blown away. I'm like, wow, that's like the cloud but you know, for on-prem. So what, right. is the, what does the cloud operating model mean to Nutanix, Mandy? Really what we're trying to do uh, is become this common cloud platform across core, edge, and cloud. We're known for our strength in HCI on-premise. We have capability across. So it's really important for us to share this story with the market now. Also one of the reasons I joined you know, the story needs to be told in a bigger fashion. So I'm here to really help evolve this category. We've, we've won HCI, right? What's next? So stay tuned. So we call that super cloud. Yes, I, I love okay? that name. So it, but it, means, it has meaning, right? It's right. a new layer. It's not just, oh, I run on Azure, or I run on AWS, or I run in Greenland. Right. It's, it's actually a common infrastructure, yes. common experience across, maybe in, even out to the edge. Right, right. right. So is, is that, do you guys see that or you think this is just a little buzzword that Dave made up? No, I think it has legs and I think at the core of it, it's simplicity and elegance. Mm -hmm. And if you look, and, and again, I'm drinking the, the champagne, right? We have that, we architected for that. We've solved that problem. So we now can extend it to become ubiquitous in the market. So it's, it's an amazing place to be because we've got the, the scale, frankly, and the breadth now of the technology platform to be able to go deliver that super cloud. And you have to do the work, right? You, you, just, you have to hide all the complexity yeah. of whether it's AWS, Azure, yeah. Google, GreenLake, any, wherever you go on-prem. Right. right. And not only that, as you know, Dave, like, when people think about cloud, they automatically think about public cloud, AWS, Azure, or Google. Guess what? We have customers some of the workloads and apps running on a local country, if you're in Singapore on Singtel, in your, if you're in Switzerland on Swisscom, if you're in Japan on NTT, guess what? Our cloud runs also on those clouds. For those customers who want the data gravity, local issues with the security and privacy laws in the local country. Then, all these SIs, you have HCL, Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, Capgemini, TCS, they have also cloud services. What we built, as Mandy said, as the category creator, make the platform run anywhere. So the customers can move data, apps, workloads from cloud to cloud, from private to public, and within public, from public to public, from AWS to Singtel, from Singtel to Swisscom to Azure, 
doesn't matter. We want to make sure one platform, one experience, any app, any user. And at least a lot of those guys are building on OpenStack. We don't talk about OpenStack mm -hmm. anymore, but a lot of the local telcos, they actually, it's, it's alive and well, and actually growing. So, so you, you make it sound simple. <laughs> so I got to ask you, as the Chief Marketing Officer, how do yeah. you message that simplicity and actually make it tangible for customers? That's a great question. Uh, it's really about the customer story. Right? How do we share that we're able to take something that took months to deploy and have it done in, in days, minutes, right? So there's a lot of those kinds of stories that you'll see across the platform coming. We're getting a lot more uh, messaging around that. We're also tightening up the message to be more easily conveyed. So that's a lot of the stuff that I'm working on right now and really super excited. You know, we've got leading retailers, financial services institutions, public se sector agencies that are running on our platform. So we've got this amazing cadre of customers and their stories just need to be told. That voice of the customer is so powerful as you yeah. well know, Tarkin. That's, that's the objective voice, right? That right. is ideally articulating your value proposition, yeah. validating that helping other customers understand this, these are the outcomes we're achieving, right. you can do right. the same. And, and different personas. Right. It's not one customer fits all, right? You heard Home Depot, Daniel with Antonio on the keynote. The stores, the distribution center, the warehousing, and their service department, their mobile app, all that data has to move from place to place. And we want to make sure it's cost effective, it's secure. And not only for the system people, like Daniel, but also for application developers. Dave, you talked about you know, open source, open stack. A lot of new application development is all open source. Yeah. And we need to also gear toward them and give them a platform, a hybrid multi-cloud platform, so they can build applications and then run applications and manage the lifecycle applications anywhere in simple ways securely. So this platform is not only for running applications, but also building a new set of digital transformation driven applications. So what are you doing with GreenLake, especially in that context, because right. that's what we're looking for, is like, right. are people going to build applications on top, maybe it's the incumbents, it might not right. be startups, but what are, you, what are you doing there? Right, so look, I'll give you the highlights on this. I know you talked to Keith again, you had this session earlier, we have about 2,000 plus customers. Customers are moving from a CapEx model to an OpEx model. They like the subscription side of the business. And basically, our strategy, and Mandy is leading this globally, making cloud on your terms. So you have the control, you move from CapEx to OpEx, and we bring the data in cloud to you, so you can manage the data securely, privately, build your applications, and when they're ready, you can move applications based on microservices capabilities we deliver to different clouds as you, as you wish. So then what are you hearing from customers? What are they most excited about right now, given the massive potential that you're about to unleash? It, it's really about best in class, right? So you get these, these amazing technologies to come together. We abstract the complexity away for the customer. So HP GreenLake brings economic benefit. Nutanix brings experience, so you couple those two and all of a sudden they've got time to value like they've never had before. Add on top of that the skills gap that we've got in the market, right? The new breed of folks that are deploying and managing these applications just don't have an appetite for complexity like they did in the old world. So we've got elegance that's underpinning our architecture and simplicity and ease of use that, learn, that really translates into customer delight. So that's our secret sauce. You talk about time to value, sorry Dave. Mm -hmm. Time to value is no joke. As a marketer, talk to me about right. what does that mean from a translation perspective? Because these days, one of the things we learned in the pandemic, right. other than everyone had no patience, and still probably <laughs> doesn't, is that access to real-time data, no longer a, oh, it's awesome, it's fantastic, it's, it's table stakes. Right. It is, it's what's going to help companies right. succeed and those not. So from a time to value perspective, talk a little bit more about that as really impactful to every industry. Right, and, and, and underpin, underpinning all of it is that simplicity and ease of use, right? So if I can pick up and have portability across all aspects of my platform, guess what? I've got a single pane of glass that's, that I'm able to manage my entire infrastructure through. That's really powerful. So I don't have to waste time doing an undifferentiated heavy lifting. All of a sudden, there's huge value there in simplicity and ease of use. Right, so it translates for things that would take months and you know, hundreds of developers, all of a sudden, you can vend out infrastructure in a way that's performant, reliable, scalable, and all of a sudden, right, everybody's happy. People are not losing sleep anymore because they know they've got a reliable way of deploying and managing and running their infrastructure. Yeah, perfect example for you, very quick. This is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Mandy and I, we were in the session, Texas Children's Hospital. Yeah. Teresa Montat, I mean, Tontat, 
Um, she is the uh, head of infrastructure with Keith, with us. You should listen to the patient care, uh, pediatric, you know, oncology, real-time data, HIPAA regulation, highly regulated industry, data gravity is super important, state laws, city laws, healthcare laws. The data cannot go to a public cloud service, but has to be cloud-driven, cloud-enabled, and data-driven, and ad-centric on the site, but cloud operating model. Nutanix, again with GreenLake, delivers a subscription methodology, a you know, OPEX model, and delivers desktop service, cloud native applications supporting all these tools like Epic, all happening yeah. in healthcare. Mm -hmm. You guys have a high net promoter score. What, what got you there and what's going to keep you there in the future? It's underpinned by the technology itself and also our outstanding support team, right? We hear our competitors' customers call us for support first before they call our competitors. If you can't take that to the bank, what can you? Yeah. Right, yeah. it's crazy. They, our customers tell us this. Really? Yeah. Really. It's pretty validating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, help it's us fantastic. With, help I mean, us with this XYZ stuff. Yeah. And it becomes even more important with this new cloud era. Yes. As you're moving the data, the applications to different places, they want the same experience. And look, as a company, we spend the investment. This is not free. Yeah. It costs us a lot of money to make that happen. The, one of the best support organizations I've been in the industry for 30 years, I've never seen this kind of a maniacal focus on customer service, and without that, success will not come. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've met a lot of Nutanix customers at the various shows over the years, ridden in taxis, bus rides, you know, cocktail parties. They're, they're an interesting bunch, right? They, they were kind of leading edge early yeah. on. They saw it, the light bulb went off, they adopted, right? right? So, uh, and think about, uh, thinking about aligning with where they're going. Where are they going and how is Nutanix aligning with them? There's, there's so much complexity in the world, right? So we're abstracting away the complexity. Not all workloads are meant to run in an either or situation, right? right? And we're hearing from IDC as well. In, in, by 2026, 75% of workloads are going to be misplaced. How do they have a strategic partner that's going to help them run their organization effectively and efficiently? we become that open and neutral player in the market that can be the trusted advisor for them to help with workload uh, placement, optimization, they're standardizing, they're consolidating, they're modernizing, they're transforming. There's a lot going on, right? And so how do they come to somebody that's a voice of reason that also is well networked across the ecosystem and that interoperability is key, and yes, I'm still drinking the Kool-Aid, but it, I see it, it's, it's a yeah. tremendous story. Switzerland with weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, you said it, Dave. And also, one other thing, it's important. Competition makes us better, not bitter. Yeah. We have the best, best partner network, 10,000 plus partners, but more than numbers, quality. Constantly working together. And some of our partners also are competitors. We compete with them and we deliver solutions this way. Customers don't have to forklift out, forklift in Nutanix we leverage their past investment, current investment, so they can tie Nutanix in different ways for different workloads. Not one size fits all. We have multiple solutions, multiple ways, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, the, in terms of scale, and different workloads from the, the you know, edge to the cloud, and to, at the end of the day, to data uh, as a whole, as you heard from HP today. Our strategy, our roadmap, super aligned. That's why we're having a lot of success with GreenLake as well. Mandy, can you talk a last question about the partner ecosystem that Tarkin mentioned? How are you leveraging that to, to modify the messaging that you talked about? You've only been here almost 90 days. Right. How is the partner ecosystem going to be a facilitator of the Nutanix brand and messaging in the reach? They're, they're tremendous, right? Because we're able to now, like we're doing here, right, be able to reach into their customer base and, and showcase our stories in a purpose-built way. Right? This, is, this is reality and solutions that we're driving for the customers with like-minded problems, like-minded people, so they can see that. And so we do that across the, the ecosystem and all of a sudden we've got this rolling thunder, if you will. So it's up to us to, to, to really hone in on the right narrative and hand it to them and have them run with it. There's going to be practices built on this even in a deeper way moving forward. I see it, you know, we've done, I've done this before in my career and so I've got conviction that we're, we're on the right track and um, you know, watch the space. Dot, 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 to be continued, watch the space. You heard it here on theCUBE. <laughs> Mandy Tarkin, thank you so much for joining Dave and me talking Thanks, about the power of Nutanix with HPE, what you're doing and what you're enabling customers to yeah. achieve. It's transformative and, and best of luck. We can't, you'll have to come back in the next 90 days so we can see some of those customer stories. Absolutely, absolutely, All would right. love to, thank you. Thanks guys. Yeah.
For our guests and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from the show floor of HPE Discover 22. Day one coverage continues after a short break. <laughs>